Hey, this is Nat, and we're off our couch here again in St. Augustine, Florida, the oldest city in America, located in Northeast Florida, about 40 miles south of Jacksonville. And we love exploring this city. And if you also love visiting this historic city, make sure you subscribe because we're always seeking the best and most unique experiences that this wondrous city has to offer, which is why we're here at St. Augustine Distillery. St. Augustine Distillery is the first distillery in St. Augustine offering award-winning small batch handmade spirits. Free tours and tastings are offered daily. And today we are experiencing a behind the scenes tour with the general manager of St. Augustine Distillery, Matt Stevens. Mr. Stevens is going to walk us through the process of creating award-winning spirits. And later, we're actually going to have the opportunity to fill our own bottle of one of these spirits, St. Augustine Distillery's Florida Bourbon. We're going to complete the packaging of the bottle and personalize the label. But first, we're understanding the history and significance of the building that houses the distillery. St. Augustine Distillery is located in the Florida Power and Light Ice Plant Building, which is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Built in 1917, this building produced the very first commercial ice in Florida. Mr. Stevens is explaining to us how important commercial ice production was during that time period. Commercial ice was needed for medical necessities and prolonging the life of food. So employees of Florida Power and Light were actually exempt from the drafts of both World War I and World War II. We are also learning that St. Augustine Distillery sources many of their products from local farmers and the remaining products come from within the United States. All of the equipment and supplies used in this distillery are made in the USA. St. Augustine Distillery believes in community and supporting local. In fact, there are solar panels on the top of the shaded trolley stop in front of the distillery. The electricity that is produced from these panels benefits the residents of the Lincolnville District, a historic district where St. Augustine Distillery is located. Now, returning our thoughts back to the theater room of the distillery, where we learn more about the distillery, the history of this building, and the history of spirits in North Florida, it's now time for our first tasting. We're sampling a Florida meal. When St. Augustine Distillery first opened in 2014, vodka was the first spirit available. It has since been named Best Domestic Vodka by the 50best.com. The Florida Mule is one part St. Augustine Distillery Vodka, one part St. Augustine Distillery Florida Mule Mixer, and two parts seltzer. This is a smooth, refreshing, and flavorful drink. A traditional mule has ginger beer, while St. Augustine Distillery's Florida Mule Mix is made from ginger juice. And note how the ingredients are all natural, oh, there's no preservatives. While we're within the theater room, we see that exciting changes are coming in the way that St. Augustine Distillery conducts their tours, starting with these recently installed doors and then moving into the next room. Previously, guided tours started in this room with around 40 people seated on pews. Mr. Stevens is explaining how this room will now offer a more intimate tour experience with tables, decorative lighting, and around 20 people involved in the tour. We're looking forward to coming back and checking that out. Our tour continues through this door and this is where all the magic happens. Uh, this is where the fermentation tank, the mash cooker, the spirit still, and botanical gin still that makes the spirits that we and so many people enjoy. Right now we are looking at the 60 gallon botanical gin still that makes all of the gin here at the distillery. It's busy producing award winning gin five to six days a week and we're getting a whiff of the 160 proof gin now with all the botanicals infused within the mixture. Smells lovely. As I just stated, this gin is award winning. Awards include Best Craft Gin Distillery in the United States and USA Today's 10 Best Reader's Choice Travel Award Contest and Best Gin of the South in Southern Living Magazine, to name just a couple. Mr. Stevens is taking the time to explain what makes this gin so special. So the juniper, which is a spruce from a pine tree, smells like pine, which is common for gin, but not everyone really enjoys that scent. 
St. Augustine Distillery puts their juniper in whole, then adds 13 botanicals like citrus, nutmeg, and coriander, and that's why St. Augustine Distillery's gin is beloved by so many. We also had the pleasure of getting acquainted with these two stills and learning the process of making bourbon. And did you know the stills have names? Meet Bessie and Ella. Both stills play an important role in the production of bourbon, and we learned a lot about the production through the role that Ella plays. Ella is a refining steel named after jazz legend Ella Fitzgerald, and its job is to separate the alcohols. Alcohols that are produced like wood grain and acetone are removed. St. Augustine Distillery is looking for the hearts of the production, not the tails or the heads. So of the 400 gallons that are produced within the steel, 150 to 200 gallons, which is considered the hearts, is used by the St. Augustine Distillery to fill three to four barrels. That is a 10-day process which consists of two fermentations, 4,000 pounds of grain, about 1,500 gallons of mash to produce the 150 to 200 gallons of award-winning handcrafted bourbon. Wow, <laughs> something to think about definitely make you appreciate your next old-fashioned or hot toddy even more. So we're looking at the bottling and production area now, and this sign gives you an idea of the scale of production when it comes to St. Augustine Distillery and the big brand bourbon distilleries. Just a few moments ago, when we were looking at the 750 gallon fermentation tank, Mr. Stevens was explaining to us that that may sound big, but it's actually not. The fermentation tanks at the big brand bourbon distilleries are actually 92,000 gallons. <laughs> Crazy, huh? So what we're partaking in here at the St. Augustine Distillery is a small batch, handmade craft distillery experience. We have more tastings to enjoy still on this tour. Next up is the gin and tonic. So remember the gin with 13 botanicals? Rob, who is creating and providing the tastings, will walk us through the botanicals we'll taste in three different sips. The first sip will experience grapefruit and lavender. The second sip is the juniper, the pine taste that is common in gin. And the third sip, citrus and quinine. I enjoyed all three sips, love it. And now Rob is serving us the rum tiki. Perfect summer drink. This drink screams summer, pool, vacation, tropical, all those words that I love. <laughs> Up next for us to try are the bourbons. And for us to understand exactly what we'll be experiencing and what a bourbon is, we're relearning our ABCs. The ABCs of what makes a bourbon. A bourbon is a type of whiskey, and to gain the right to be called a bourbon, it has to A, be made in America, B, the barrel, the charred oak barrel, it is aged in, has to be a new, never used before barrel, and C, corn must make up 51% or more of the grains used. So there you go. Now we truly know our ABCs. One other very interesting fact about bourbon is that the charred oak barrel gives the bourbon much of its flavor and 100% of its color. Okay, so now that we're educated, let's go try this award-winning bourbon. St. Augustine Distillery's bourbon has won multiple awards from the 50best.com and Micro Liquor Spirit Awards. And we're going to start our tasting of this acclaimed bourbon with an old-fashioned London's favorite drink. Four parts Florida bourbon to one part old-fashioned mix. We really love this old-fashioned mix. It has everything you need to create an excellent old-fashioned sans the bourbon. The mix has your sugar cane, bitters, citrus, and spices. I remember when we started trying to make these at home and we were Googling where to buy bitters and what they even were. Now we just buy the mix. Okay, so now we're gonna try the Florida Straight Bourbon from barrel 1846. When the distillers come across a unique barrel, they'll pull that aside for the fill your own bottle experience. And here are all of 1846's stats. And more importantly, the details of what you'll be smelling and tasting as you enjoy this unique barrel. And now that the sampling is done, let's go fill our bottle with 112 proof Florida bourbon from barrel 1846. So we have five steps to complete our very own bottle of Florida bourbon. Step one, we have our bottle. <laughs> Love this design, grand and sophisticated. Step two, we're filling the bottle and there it goes. 
is flowing out of the barrel where it has aged for three years and 328 days, uh, practically four years, into this stately bottle. And London is craking it to the very last drip. Step three, applying the label and personalizing it. A couple of videos ago, we were customizing M&Ms, and now look at us, customizing our own bottle of award-winning bourbon, moving up in the world. <laughs> So you can see London is hard at work putting in the cork and then sealing it. He is a one-man production team here. He's doing it all from start to finish. And we have to make this official. That's step four, signing the ledger. And look at how official that ledger looks. It looks like something used during the signing of the Constitution, right? <laughs> if you somehow didn't already realize you were doing something incredibly special, then you will most definitely know while signing this ledger. And it is done. We have our own personal customized handcraft bottle of classic Florida bourbon. And just five steps. Well, we, we actually didn't do step number five, share with friends. Honestly, I don't know if that's going to happen. Unless they mean share by social media and text, then yes, London did that. <laughs> he shared photos of his experience with family and friends, and they all responded with, where? How did you get to make your own bottle? That's so cool. I've never done that before. You know, because this is a one-of-a-kind experience. I think this is perfect for someone who appreciates finely craft spirits or someone, someone like me in London who just loves experiencing new things or that person who's hard to shop for. You know, those people that have and done everything. <laughs> I bet they haven't done this. This is such an awesome experience, such a unique experience. A great way to remember your trip to the distillery and your trip to St. Augustine. And then you can go back home and share your personal bottle of bourbon. Or you can at least share the pictures and videos like London did. I think this may be as far as London gets with step five. I'll be lucky to get a glass of this, to be honest. <laughs> Luckily, well, purposely, we did some more shopping, so we had more to share and enjoy. This gift shop is wonderful. We both just love it. There's so much to choose from. And as you can see, it's not just liquor. There's food, apparel, items for the home. Such a great variety to pick from. And let us show you what we got. Since we have the bourbon, of course, we have a bottle of Old Fashioned Mix. We also picked up a bottle of the vodka and the Florida Mule Mixer. It's almost summer. It's already sunny and hot outside. A Florida Mule is a must. We have our hand sanitizer, which is made from the alcohol that's not classified as the heart. I also picked up this shirt. I can't wait to wear and hear all the comments I get. <laughs> and we picked up some goodies. Bourbon nuts, which London always gets. He loves these and the bourbon cherry caramel popcorn. The sun is melting it. We have to hurry up and eat it. And oh, it is so good. You can taste the bourbon in it and it has dry cherries. Oh, delicious. And we got a new glass so we can entertain in style. And check out our very own customized off our couch classic Florida bourbon underneath this Florida sunshine and all of its glory. Love it. <laughs> London did such a good job, didn't he? And the whole experience, filling our own bottle, as well as the tour, it was so much fun, informative, and so enlightening. We really want to thank Mr. McDaniel, the CEO and co-founder of St. Augustine Distillery, as well as Mr. Stevens, the general manager, for having us. We really enjoyed it. We hope you did as well. If so, please hit the like button. Tell us your thoughts and what was your favorite part of the tour. Be sure to subscribe because we'll be in Central Florida next video and a refreshing Florida mule or old fashioned is gonna be lovely after chasing the kids in the heat around the theme park. So stay tuned for theme park and water park action as well. Until then, cheers and click on the video to see another one of our experiences. Thanks for watching.